Willkommen, bienvenue, and welcome back to Opus Manium with Light. Today, we're heading into the Health Tonic. This one's a bit interesting because the version that I started off with is, well, pretty darn quick. Nigh on optimal. I'm not going to make any promises of optimality because I've been demonstrated to be wrong either by myself or by someone else several times. So what this one does is it just grabs, attaches, and drops. And so it takes a nice short path over to the side and then dumps it in the bin. On the first cycle out, it attaches the first Vitae. Then once we can grab the next one, we attach that and we drop it in the bin. It's a four cycle. So generally four cycles are as fast as you're gonna get because of the nature of pulling things out of the sources. And I don't recall if this is the first time we've had a compound input, but these guys get a little bit tricky because they become more and more problematic to move around. But in this particular case, it's not bad because you can just shift it, attach, shift, attach, and drop. And it's pretty darn quick. Um, the only thing that I could see being faster is if somehow you had one out, the other one also out, and you attached them simultaneously. And so it would just be pull out and drop. But even then, that's what we're doing with this guy over here. The moment it comes out, it gets dropped. I don't anticipate there being a faster version, but again, I've been demonstrated to be wrong in the past. Thankfully for this one, there aren't any mysterious circumstances that could cause problems. No new widgets that we don't quite understand. And by we, I mean me. <laughs> uh, what I'm referring to is the the way we transform metals up to higher levels of metals. We'll probably talk about that on the next one. But then we go into how do we make it small and how do we make it cheap? So we start off with our little ski lift here that pulls it up, moves it over, rotates it, attaches, and shifts it again. It's relatively small, relatively cheap, but it's not particularly good on either front because you've got extra space from this track. You've got a bit of cost in having two pistons. So, what we go what we do from here is we try to minimize the area necessary because with this track we're clearly using too much space there's there's no way this is as small as possible and so this ski lift plus was to make it faster not smaller It was just a minor little improvement to get it moving quicker because for an overall score, that's kind of important to, to keep the size down, but to, you know, get the job done in a reasonable amount of time. It's not optimal in either sense, but it's, it's pretty decent. And then right over here, We've got 48 cycles, 16 area, 100 cost. So by adding another arm, we've gotten rid of one of the extra spaces that we were using. And so we reduced the area by one. It's still pretty compact. Probably not as compact as we need though. And so we move on to ski lift smaller, which is one smaller, slower than all of the ones before it, but cheaper and smaller. And all we did was move the two pistons into a better alignment. And with this better alignment, you use up less space. You don't use this space over here 
This hex is already being used, so having the arm over it doesn't matter. So the only things that we would need to worry about is uh, on size is whether or not we could remove the usage of any more of these spaces. Well... Maybe? Because if you had it approach from... I, I don't know. I don't even know if you could have it approach from a different direction and use fewer spaces, because these two are the only non-mandatory spaces in addition to one of these pistons. So if you could get this job done with just one piston doing all of this somehow, you might be able to do what we need. But right now, this is the smallest solution I've been able to come up with. But it's by far not the cheapest. The cheapest is our good old friend, the one-armed bandit, I guess. But it's just got one arm. And whenever you've got just the one arm, it's as cheap as it's going to get. Now, it's not particularly efficient space-wise. Because it swings this compound round and round. Uses up tons of space for it. But it's not what it's here for. This is for cheap. And one arm and one binder is as cheap as you're going to get for this puzzle because you have to bind it and you have to move it. And the single basic arm is as cheap as you're going to get. So we're not going to get it any smaller or any cheaper. Any smaller, I mean, maybe? Very little in the way of extra space used. This one I'm more confident about than the next puzzle. And then with this, I'm fairly confident this is as fast as it's going to go. Since we don't even re-grab this Vitae, it's just grab and dump, grab and dump, grab and dump. So it takes four cycles to generate, times six is 24, plus two is 26. Feels pretty optimal to me. If you've got any really fun solutions to this one, any super tiny, any gigantic and weird solutions, feel free to let me know down in the comments on Twitter or on Discord. But that's all for this episode on our good friend, the Health Tonic. And I'll see you in the next episode of Opus Monium with light.